Hey guys, how's it going? We're here with a timeless reading. So we're starting off with the Fool, the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands here. In this deck, the Fool is called the Wanderer. So you have somebody that's beginning a journey, right? Because that's what the Fool is associated with. It's like we're doing something new, we may be exploring something, we're discovering new ground. The Wanderer, the Fool, they're cards of adventure of exploration, of sort of finding things out and discovering things. And so it's that period of immersion even into something. Then we have the Eight of Swords. So there can be these feelings that we have that are connected with this period particularly for us like having the fool and having the eight of swords is like it's supposed to be fun there's not supposed to be a bunch of pressure it's supposed to be about exploring and and going out there and trying things out and seeing whatever this is for you and getting to know it getting familiar with it but having eight of swords almost feels like so trapped in your thoughts that it's not allowing you to feel that sense of adventure or exploration for what this is. Because of being stuck in your head. And then having, having the Queen of Pentacles come out next, it feels like I'm not having fun because this isn't my normal routine, you know? Like think about things that the Queen of Pentacles would care about. Like this doesn't, it's not what I'm used to. I feel like this isn't my normal routine. I'm trying to find my, my footing here. This is unfamiliar to me. I feel uncomfortable, like those things. And then I'm also seeing the Nine of Wands and this Nine of Wands, this Nine of Wands particularly, feels like this person with Queen of Pentacles here, this person looking over here and being like, I'm here right now and I'm trying to get all the way over there. So I, I feel like the, the issue is that one is not entering into this being like, look at all this stuff that I have to explore. It's like, I have to get all the way over there and I'm only all the way over here right now. So it feels like there's just a preoccupation with sort of the end result here that's not even allowing one to be present with where they are currently. And that's going to create further issues. But if you were trying to figure out like, what is my problem here? What's going on here? Like, why, why am I not having a good time right now? It's because of being so focused on like the future and what's out there rather than being right here, right now. And that's where the anxiety is coming from too. It's like this weird comparison that's happening of where I am and, and where I want to be and it not being okay where I am right now because I have to get over there. So it's like making this into something that feels very like task oriented or even result oriented. Then it's like, you're gonna miss everything that's going on right now and you're not gonna get like the full effect of it if you're so focused. It's like, instead of looking at the steps you're taking right in front of you, you have your eyes focused on this thing up there and it's like you're tripping over things, you're getting stuck, you should have gone that way instead of this way, but because you're not paying attention, it's like gonna take even longer to get over there. feels too like it being encouraged for you to put the importance back on the journey rather than the destination. There's some baggage here. Looks like you're still sort of going through something. Maybe making it hard to adjust. I 
I feel again this focus on like lack or what I don't have right now or what I want rather than like what I already have and what's right in front of me. So maybe that's also just an energetic movement that you can find to be helpful right now is sort of looking around at what is around you currently and what you do have. You know, this Five of Cups and Three of Wands is giving me the feeling of like maybe mourning something that you thought was going to happen. Maybe coming to terms with that. Because this feels like a perceived loss. What's being reinforced again is that if you can get present, this whole thing is going to get a lot easier for you. But if you're living in the future or if you're living in the past, it's going to make this extremely difficult. Not that you're not going to get through it, but it's going to make it a lot harder. So it's about checking in. Prioritizing. I don't know if this is just about conversations in general or conversations with a particular person. What I'm seeing is that if you can sort of edit the conversations that you're having into things that encourage you to be present and to be moving through this, I'm, f I'm seeing that it's gonna be helpful. Um, but there can be certain conversations that you're having that sometimes you need to be like, is it productive for me to be having this conversation? Is it not? And sort of weighing that out. I do get the vibe kind of like you've been thrown into something and there can be a part of you that's like, I don't know that I wanted to be thrown into this. You know, it's like, it's like you wanted to be at home and your parents dropped you off at daycare and you're like, I wanted to be at home right now. I was so comfortable there and now you have to like go meet new kids and stuff like that. I don't know why that, why that example is coming through, but it does feel like that in a way of it's, it's like I'm seeing you being pushed off and it's like, go do this, go explore, go see what's out there. And you're like, I didn't want this. I don't think that I wanted this, but it, it feels like almost a shock or having a hard time with the change of things, like even the change of pace or the change of scenery. So it feels like you're having a reaction sort of to the adjustment that's happening. And then feeling like sort of mentally you get locked into that of sort of you tune into that station and then are having a hard time changing the channel. And I'm seeing like that part of you that feels that way is like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna make it out of here or if I'm ever gonna, going to go anywhere with this or if I'm ever gonna make progress. And it's, it's like so wild too to be worrying about that when it's like you're just at the beginning of this thing now. So it again, like comes back around to this notion of needing to be present rather than focusing on what's going on out there or in the future. It's just about what's right in front of you currently.
I'm hearing it's about now. Everything is going to get done. get the vibe that there's a particular type of process that you're growing through currently when you're taking things that are going on for you on a mental level and sort of like manifesting that materially for yourself so it's about like what's going on mentally and then like how you're behaving based off of that or what you're doing based off of that but actually like doing things based off of that you know it's not just like having these thoughts and allowing them to dissolve and then never doing something about it is about then going on to do constructive because we have the world here constructive things with it It does seem as well like there are these two parts of yourself, another two parts of yourself that you're balancing where it's the queen of pentacles and then the king of wands. So this can be about like what you're doing for yourself and your own needs and sort of covering that and meeting that for yourself. And then also taking action in the ways that it's necessary for you to do that. You know, it can be like, Today I need to rest, or today I need a self-care day, but tomorrow I'm gonna get on this and I'm gonna take care of this and I'm gonna do it. So it's like compromising with these two parts of yourself to get them to work together and meeting the needs of both of them, like allowing them both to sort of fulfill their roles and fulfill their responsibilities. And that part of sort of going back and forth between the, the priorities of the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands, it, it feels like it's a bit of a challenge, sort of like they're just starting to work together now and you could be like, we got a long way to go here. And again, like focusing on that thing that's so far away is going to make it so much more challenging. But being present is really the key to all of this. And it feels as well like there's going to be a lot of insight along the way too. Maybe in ways that have been, that will be unexpected. Yeah, just theme wise. So we have the Wanderer, which is Uranian energy. And then we have the world, which is Saturn. So when you think about the combination of those two, it sort of describes what's going on here. So Uranus is that like exploration and seeing what's going on and being outside of your normal routine. And then Saturn can feel very uncomfortable with that because Saturn is about consistency and routine and doing what's familiar to us and sort of like cutting out the middleman. It can even be and being more effective and so I, there are these two parts of yourself that may be feeling kind of uncomfortable right now or at odds, but it's about getting them to work together. And like with Saturn too, it's like there can be these expectations on you where you're feeling like a lot's being asked of you because Saturn is about responsibility and needing to do the difficult thing, but you're going to get like really righteous results in the end. And having like Uranus at the beginning, it feels like 
doing things in a way that may be like very foreign to you or unfamiliar to you, but like still needing to show up because Saturn is here. So this is like developing a new like method here for moving through this. And I'm seeing like that part be hard because it's like, I can't do things how I was doing it before. But that's also the beauty of this too, because you get to find new ways of doing things. And with Saturn, it's like, you're going to create some sort of pattern here and your like pattern or a method as you move through this. But right now it's about exploring that for yourself. Like what's gonna be most effective? What's gonna work the best? And then once you get in the groove of that, you're going to develop a rhythm. It's gonna take hard work because Saturn is here, but then you're going to accomplish that. So you're going to reach your goal at the end of it. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing here as far as the major arcanas. All right, my friends, we're going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and light, and I will catch you guys next time.